mean, so it depends on who you talk to. A lot of the frontline people, for example, are very happy to see that we're doing this because I remember, um, you know, we do everything online mostly, but when I'm in Detroit, I'll actually go and sit and pay bills in person just to kind of hang out at the water company and talk to people. Um, I remember one of the first few times I did that, I paid like five or six bills at one time. And the woman was like, what are you doing? Like, why, <laughs> why are you paying so many bills? But when I told her what was going on, she was super excited about it and, you know, totally helped me out. And then, um, another instance, um, a woman who worked there, I told her the same thing. And she had a son who was a retired journalist and she told him about what we were doing. So he's become one of our writers at different points in time. So again, people want to help. But if I talk about, you know, um, the building in Detroit, the headquarters in Detroit being like a multi-story building, if you go upstairs, sometimes the reactions are kind of mixed because it's like, you know, who are you and why are you doing this? And there was a notion when we first started that we made the utility look bad, but that wasn't the intention. It's just that people were not getting the help that they needed. So they found another source of that help. But, you know, we've found ways to sort of mend that relationship with the folks upstairs and, and also develop an understanding from their perspective what's going on as far as, if you think about it, um, just in the United, like this is a problem that happens in different places in the world, obviously, but just from the U.S. perspective, the federal government has not invested in water infrastructure in the way that they should since like the 70s. And so, you know, talking to Gary Brown, for example, um, the director of the water department in Detroit, he told me about how like, you know, he's squeezed as far as his budget goes when it comes to, um, you know, needing to make like infrastructure improvements and how, because he's not getting federal money that he needs, he's having to raise rates on customers. And a lot of the time, because of the situation in Detroit, as far as poverty levels and unemployment and things like that, people are not able to sustain those summer after summer after summer increases because he's not getting the resources he needs. Even though I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not shilling for him. I don't think that's an excuse to shut people off, but you can kind of understand that if he had the money that he needed, he may not be doing these kinds of shutoffs sometimes. 